Well, 72 million per hour uh, estimated direct losses for AWS uh, during the downtime. So that's AWS's losses, losses during the nine hour duration of the outage, 500 million to 500 million uh, to 650 million potential total direct loss for Amazon over 1 billion USD possible combined losses for all impacted businesses, uh, which is uh, what I'm seeing as well. So billion bucks, basically. So you get, you get beyond the AWS losses and stuff that's going to impact their business. Their customers lost about a billion dollars all in. I suspect when the, uh, they do the tallying up of the impact of this is going to be uh, more than that. And which is you know something we've been talking about for a long period of time. So dependencies on these hyperscalers is going to come with some risk. And the fact if you have so many dependencies and so many eggs in a single basket that they're going to have an issue um, and they're going to ultimately be a dependency that you're counting on to be always around and it's not going to be always around. So diversification, distribution of workloads, things like that, things we've been teaching you here uh, are becoming more important. And unfortunately, it uh, really has become more important after many of the enterprises have touched the stove, which they did this week with the AWS outage.